Good morning. Today we're going to work on this Harley Davidson carburetor. They're all CV carburetors. They do the same thing. This is off of 2000. It will be the same carburetor. Oh, you got your slide here. You got your accelerator pump there, which we will be testing. That's your diaphragm for your accelerator pump. On this carburetor, it's obvious that we gotta just go through it. The choke cable is bad and the inlet has to be removed and a new one needs to be put in. With that, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove this choke and this is easy. It's only vinyl, counterclockwise. And there it is, you can see dirty and old we will be buying a new one of these next thing to look at is this inlet that's your fuel inlet this one broke there'd be a vinyl this would sit on your motorcycle like that and that's where your fuel line goes to we need to replace that we have the vice you see i got this little slot here which does make it easier that little v-notch there helps out a lot I'm going to set this in there. I didn't get crazy. You don't want to destroy it. You know it's brass. We will, we will be replacing that inlet. You see how I did this? Sometimes they can be very stubborn. I'm going to put my foot on this and turn and just pull up. It's moving. Take a look at it. If it starts slipping, tighten it a little more. Oh yeah, we got it. It's tapered, it's a machine fit. That wasn't bad at all. Now I'll put a new one in. And it's not hard to do. This is a tapered fit. All right, now we have the inlet is removed. And this, all we're doing on this carburetor is a, a basic cleaning, because that's all they ever need. You got to realize when these are on the bikes, the fuel never goes over this. So, you know, I understand after time, you go through it, you clean it up, and that's that. Just make sure your jets aren't clogged, your inlet's in good shape, your choke's in good shape. And uh, we will drill out this plug for the air fuel adjustment. You can see this has never been touched. And uh, they're great carburetors. They really are. The CV carburetors are great. All right, with that, I want to put this inlet in. All right, I'm going to get a little wire brush. Let's just clean this up a little bit. This is a popular problem with the, it's a vinyl elbow that comes on this. They fail. They'll leak gas. It'll cause all sorts of havoc. Now here's a new inlet, eBay, 15 bucks. You can't go wrong. It's a nice brass piece, be careful with it. This came from K&L on eBay. All right, what we wanna do now, is you gotta realize the carburetor sits like this. The fuel inlet usually sits at a little angle. So it sits at a little angle. So we'll just keep it like that. Now, I got this clamp, and what I'm going to do, okay, you see it moving, just be slow. Like I said, we could direct the angle later. When you put this in the freezer, it will contract a little. I'll keep this in, a, in the freezer for an hour or two prior doing this, and it is a lot easier. But you see it moving. She's going, you gotta remember, it's a tapered fit and it's brass. Just take your time, let it sit. You know, we're getting it. It's close. And believe me, these fail a lot. And people will end up just getting carburetors. When you could buy this to any supplier on eBay between ten and fifteen dollars. You can see the I'd like to get it all the way. She's getting tighter.
another 30 seconds. You don't want to get crazy. You really don't. Let's sit for a minute. You can see she's done. Let's loosen this up. Now you see the way it's facing that way. I want it to face back a little more. So this will sit on the motorcycle. The fuel line comes from the tank and down the side. That's beautiful. This is repaired now. This carburetor will work. Now what I wanna do is remove the float bowl and let's see what we got there. Sometimes these Phillips head, they're made out of a soft metal, it could be a bear. Take one or two adjustments. And you'll see these things haven't been removed. So I know, okay, you see, we got it. Look how easy. And now push in, let's remove this one. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That's not bad. This one's a little bit of a bear. Just like I said. And watch, it's just... I just wanted to show you with the vice grips that don't let these screws get the best of you. They're cheap metal. Be careful of this accelerator rod right here. So this is gonna come off nice and even. You might have to just tap it. Nice and even. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Here's your accelerator rod. That slides right into here. Sometimes when it's on the bike, you pull this off, this will drop to the ground and never be seen again. Just be aware of it. All right, now let's put this back together. Remember your accelerator pump. If you look close, you'll see there's a hole right there, but this goes from the inside. That's that piece. Take this. Okay, that's all right. There you go. Let's put our screws back in. Uh, let's tighten them up. You don't gotta get crazy. There's that. Now I take one of these little squarely gets on there. Nice. 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 And that's it. Is remove this cap that hides and protects your air gas mixture screw. They do that so you cannot fool around with the fine adjustment on this carburetor. See, that's what the plug looks like. All right. So now what we want to do is drill into here. All right, I got a 764th bit. So what we want to do is put a slight little center mark on this plug. And it's soft metal. There you go. Make sure you got to be careful. You don't want to go too deep. Nice and slow.
You gotta remember that brass adjustment screws right behind this. That's beautiful. Just take your time. You watch because it's going to drop right through. You don't want to destroy the air fuel set screw. Oh, it's going to go any second. It's only aluminum, so. I don't lean on it, just let it do it. A little more, it's coming. Be careful. Remember, it's only a little plug. You open, oh, there it goes. Let's clean up all that shaving. And now you see, we have the hole. What we're gonna do now is take this screw. Put that in place with a claw hammer. Okay, you got it held just like that. And there is your plug. And there is your tuning screw. <laughs> Not that hard. To have a right screw. The right size drill. Take your time. Now we're going to count how many turns this is in and clean that circuit. And this is only for fine tuning pretty much off idle okay so counterclockwise will count what it's in and that will tell us what we need to set it at later okay i'm using a tuning screwdriver you see that now if i go clockwise that's going to tighten it that's one turn in that's one and a half turns in usually it's one three quarters this is set at two turns in. And that's it right there. There'll be a spring. A washer. And an O-ring. A lot of times I'll just clean this. As you see, there's the set screw, there's the spring, and now there's a washer. If you look in there, there should be an O-ring. Yes, I see it. I'd like to get that out. I hope you can see that, that's your O-ring. What we would like to do, you'll see it. Spray into there, and you'll see come out right there. So now what we want to do is just the way it came apart. Right. Remember the spring, the washer. Remember the spring, the washer. And believe me, it took a little while to get that O-ring out of there. With the O-ring in place, that holds the washer and everything. So now just tilt this. Now we're going to reset 
to two. That's where it was at. Let's drive it all the way home. Don't get crazy. That's it. Remember, this is where we started. At zero. One turn open. Two turns open. That's what we're going to keep this at. This is a quick video on how to do the fuel inlet. Go through the carburetor. Check the ex go through the carburetor. Check the accelerator pump. This is a quick video on how to remove the plug for your air fuel screw. How to check your accelerator pump. How to put a new fuel inlet on. And how to test your accelerator pump. With that, the jets were all clean. Everything looks good. What I'm gonna do, you can see how that's working. Remember the dot on the accelerator pump gotta be facing in. Now, what I'd like to do is to test this carburetor to see that the accelerator pump works and that we have no carburetor leaks. The carburetor is on my tire machine. And what we're gonna do is hook up this line. So what I got here is my Motion Pro temp gas can. I'm gonna connect this line to the carburetor and test it for any kind of leaks and that the accelerator pump works and all that good stuff. So right now we know there's no leaks. It's not overflowing. So we should be able to hit the throttle level and see a squirt come out of this brass accelerator pump nozzle. Okay, keep an eye. That's not working. I'm gonna shut this gas off. Now that showed me there's something still wrong with the accelerator pump. I'm gonna get a new diaphragm and put it in there. This is a good way to test your carburetor. What we're gonna do, I got a brand new diaphragm. Another cheap part. And we're gonna put this in there and fix the accelerator pump. With that, I'll just turn this and we remove this top piece. Come on, screw. This is spring loaded, so let's be careful. We need it to squirt gas out that accelerator needle. Okay. Let's be careful. Okay. Spring. Now what happens is these diaphragms get a hole in it and you get no power. The diaphragm will fail and just through time. Okay. You see we got our O-rings in the ball right there. that aside place that like that get the spring be careful nothing drops out you see your holes not hard just line up everything and there you go and then we'll test her and hopefully we resolve that accelerator pump. When I took this carburetor apart, the needle was pretty free. And I'm talking about the accelerator pump needle right here. Don't get crazy. All right, with that, we're gonna set her up and put it back on that temp gas bottle. Okay, we replaced the diaphragm in the accelerator pump. I got the gas hooked up and it's on. We wait a minute or two, the gas will run through the system. And uh, now I'm gonna check the accelerator pump. 
Let me change the angle of this a little bit so you can see it. All right, you're gonna get the side profile of that. All right, now I'm gonna crank down on the accelerator. This is where your throttle cable hooks up. Now the gas fills the system quick. Now I hope you can see that. That appears to be beautiful. Like I said. That's absolutely gorgeous. There it is. This carburetor is 100%. With that, I appreciate if you could, thumbs up. Any comments, any questions, just ask. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.